You know that things like diabetes and PCOS are as much a factor of lifestyle as they are of genetics. Absolutely, it's true. Some people are more genetically disposed to these things than others. But there's a second factor to all of this mess. That factor happens to be lifestyle. So yeah, if you grew up being given certain foods and eating in a certain way, and you follow those same patterns, it's actually going to look like a familial trait. And it is, but it's more of a lifestyle conditioning trait than a genetic or health trait. So although you're at a higher risk, I'm going to invite you to maybe shift the paradigm for your family. Do some research, make better choices, teach your family how to do better for their health with the limitations that they have. I give out five different things that can help with this and those are really quickly. Get in a good variety of fibers before you eat. Don't fear healthy fats, things like all extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, coconut, butter, and ghee. Prioritize protein in your diet. Most of us are not getting enough in. Limit your carbs and anything that's not a fat or a protein is a carbohydrate. So limit all of those things and then implement some time-based eating. Now to make all of that sustainable, yes, I use a system called the Feel Great System, a tea I drink in the morning, a pre-meal drink that happens to give me the fibers and plant nutrients that I need in order to take care of all of that. And it's really that simple.